Hey guys, welcome back to Shank Outdoors. So I've had a lot of questions about our DIY square drop trailer that I built last year, or just over a year and a, over a year now, in our garage. Everyone's asking how well this trailer has held up with the Raptor liner, the custom suspension on the aluminum frame, and just overall, how is it held up? So why don't we switch around the camera and take a look. So again, it's been about a year and a half since the project was finished. We've got some chip, rock chips along the front tongue. The rock guard on the aluminum plate is holding up great. Same as the angle iron. No leaks on any of our windows. Our jack has some rust, or our leg has some rust. The rafter liner has not chipped, cracked. I know there's some videos of the rafter liner cracking and you know really separating from the plywood. And we have not, knock on wood, had that issue yet. Um, when I chose Raptor Liner, I actually called Raptor Liner themselves asking what is their opinion or what is their go-to on applying Raptor Liner, their product, on plywood. And they said as long as it was properly sanded that and we layered the Raptor Liner appropriately, allowed proper curing, etc, etc, that we would not have any issues. And so far, I think we did the right job. We sanded the plywood properly, had the proper plywood. We put multiple layers, allowing the proper cure time in the proper temperatures. And again, as you can see, it has held up extremely well. No issues. Again, the rock guard on the angle iron, on the fender flares, or fender flares, on the fenders, okay. Yes, the trailer's dirty, okay. There's, these aren't actually chips. There's actually, there is a couple chips there. Some of it's just mud splatter, but there is a couple chips. Our all-terrain tires. Our tree rock bouncer slash step sides that will actually can step up, hold both my 200 pounds, or have both my feet up and hold 200 pounds on just the one, one side. So I can easily, now we have the kayaks up here, kayak holders, and the awning. And then we have the solar panel, 100 watt. So, here are our lights, chrome handle again the back, no, no chipping or cracking of the rafter liner anywhere. We have some peeling of the, of the uh, rock guard on this plastic, I should have primed it beforehand, the heat totally just uh, has allowed the rock guard to separate itself. You'll actually see it more on this side. I peeled up part of it. So there you go, I should have, I didn't sand it and I didn't prime it. And that was me being lazy. Everything else I properly spend the time curing and prepping, sanding, whatever I needed to do to make sure that the trailer held up. And what do I do? I spend as little time as possible on properly prepping the vents. Like how silly is that? The vent cap inside is held up, but the outside here has not. So again, standing on the rear tree bouncer, rock slider, step, whatever you want to call it. Holds my weight, 
We got some mud splatter and rock chips here on this fender. No splitting of any kind on the Raptor liner itself. Windows again, no leaks. We have the, the actual uh, mesh screens to stop mosquitoes coming in when we have the windows open on the inside. We have sealants all along the angle iron. Windows up front, again, these do not open. They stay closed and they're just skylights. So that's the trailer in a hole. While I'm sitting on it, I actually have the peel and stick flooring that we put in has held up fantastic. The whole family really enjoys our little trailer. And for these pieces to be the only issue we have, and a little bit of rock chips from going down the gravel roads, there's no complaint at all. It just really turned out great. The back wall held up. We have the flooring down underneath all our equipment. Oh, there you can see it there. I just, and these, these little batteries or lights are I think on triple A's, double A's. This one's starting to die. But it's again, been over a year. So through cold, through warm weather, whatever rain, So would I recommend Raptor Liner on your DIY square drop trailer? Yes. Again, take your time, prep it, let it cure, do another layer if you have to. Um, I did quite a bit. Uh, I did more than I thought I was going to use. Let's just say that. I originally bought a kit of four liters. And then ended up actually doing, was it a kit of four liters? Yeah, I think it's a four liter kit. And then ended up actually at the end of it all, I used about 10 liters. So two kits of four bottles and then an additional two to completely do the white on the trailer. And that covered all walls, the doors and the, the roof. But it's held up the whole time through minus 30 to plus 30 for the last year and a half. So I can't complain, not one bit. And that is why I would recommend, if you're not gonna go, if you're not sure what to do, but you like the Raptor Liner look, I recommend doing Raptor Liner. So thanks again for tuning in to Shank Outdoors. If you have any questions on the build, hit them in the comments. Otherwise, check out our past videos and those might be able to answer the questions you have. See you in the next one.